Hello, and welcome to the 141st episode of Scripture in a Year, hosted by Saints Peter and Paul Orthodox Church in the Albanian Archdiocese of the OCA. Today's reading is from the book of Psalms, chapters 89 to 92. Psalm 89, a prayer for Moses, a man of God. O Lord, you became a refuge to us in generation and generation, before the mountains were made, and before the earth and the world were formed. And from everlasting to everlasting you are. Do not let man be turned back to humiliation. And you said, Return, you sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday which passed, and like a watch in the night. Years shall be objects of contempt to them. In the morning let man pass by like grass. In the morning let him blossom and pass by. In the evening let him fall off, be dried up and withered. For we fainted in your wrath, and in your wrath we were troubled. You set our transgressions before you, our time in the light of your face. For all our days failed, and in your wrath we fainted. Our years were spent in thought like a spider. As for the days of our years, their span is seventy years. But if we stay strong, perhaps eighty. And most of them are labor and pain. For meekness came upon us, and we shall be chastened. Who knows the power of your wrath, and who knows your anger because of your fear? So make known your right hand to us, that we may number our days, and our heart may be bound with wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and be entreated concerning your servants. We were filled with your mercy in the morning, and in all our days we greatly rejoiced and were glad. Gladden us in return for the days you humbled us, for the years we saw evil things. And behold your servants and your works, and guide their sons, and let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and prosper for us the works of our hands. Psalm 90, the praise of an ode by David. He who dwells in the help of the Most High shall lodge in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, You are my protector and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall free me from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. He shall overshadow you with his shoulders, and under his wings you shall hope. His truth shall encircle you with a shield. You shall not be frightened by fear at night, nor from an arrow that flies by day, nor by a thing moving in darkness, nor by a mishap and a demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. But you shall observe with your eyes, and you shall see the reward of sinners. For you, O Lord, are my hope. You made the Most High your refuge. Evil shall not come to you, and a scourge shall not draw near your dwelling. For he shall command his angels concerning you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the asp and the basilisk, and you shall trample the lion and the dragon. For he hoped in me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he knew my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver and glorify him. With length of days I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, a psalm of an ode for the Sabbath day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing your name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night, on the harp of ten strings with an ode on the lyre. For you make me glad, O Lord, with your work, and I will greatly rejoice in the works of your hands. How magnificent are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are exceedingly deep, a man without discernment shall not know these things, and a senseless man shall not understand them. When sinners grow like grass, and all the workers of lawlessness have arrogant looks, it is so that they may be destroyed unto ages of ages. But you, O Lord, are most high forever, for behold, your enemies shall perish, and all who work lawlessness shall be scattered abroad, and my horn shall be exalted like the unicorn, and my old age shall be blessed with rich mercy. My eye looked upon my enemies, and my ear shall hear of evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall be multiplied like the cedar in Lebanon. Those planted in the house of the Lord shall blossom forth in the courts of our God. They shall still be increased in a rich old age, and shall be prospering, so as to proclaim, The Lord my God is upright, and there is no wrongdoing in him. Psalm 92 for the day before the Sabbath, when the earth was settled, the praise of an ode by David. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself in majesty, the Lord clothed and girded himself with power, and he established the world which shall not be moved. Your throne is prepared from of old, you are from everlasting. 
The rivers, O Lord, lift up. The rivers lift up their voices because of the voices of their many waters. Marvelous are the billows of the sea. Wondrous is the Lord on high. Your testimonies are very much believed. Holiness is proper to your house, O Lord, unto length of days. Here ends the reading for today.